Hi there, tea time again, just having a brew. All right, continuing with our discussion about uh, series characters, uh, I want to talk about books written by, a series of books written by Gavin Lyle. Now, I previously reviewed his Midnight Plus, uh, Mid Midnight Plus One, uh, which was one of his standalone books, but he has written um, a couple of series. One, which is usually known as the Honor Series, is um, about uh, British intelligence before World War I. Um, really interesting, kind of shades of John Buchan and that kind of thing. But the one I want to talk about today is uh, his Major Maxim series. And I did mention it briefly in the review of Midnight Plus One, but I want to go into it in a little bit more detail. Um, the first book, uh, and you've seen the cover of it, is uh, The Secret Servant. And here, Harry Maxim, who uh, is a major in um, Special Air Service, is uh, attached to 10 Downing Street. There's been some security scandals and the Prime Minister um, looking for uh, a kind of solution has um, been advised to bring in, uh, as in a consultancy role, um, an officer from SAS. Uh, and actually, a lot of politicians have sort of used um, special forces as uh, a magic solution to different problems. Harold Wilson, 1976, announced that he was sending um, Special Air Service into Northern Ireland to deal with the problem. And it was news to them at the time. Um, they, they use it as... Um, kind of a, a life raft for their policies. Anyway, going back to fiction. So um, Harry Maxim arrives at 10 Downing Street, not really knowing what he's supposed to be doing there. And they don't really know. Anyway, he he is um, working to a chap called George, who is one of the, the private secretaries to the uh, prime minister. And he has to liaise with different other organisations. And the main plot in um, Secret Servant is that there's a threat on a prominent scientist who is um, about to be appointed to a, a high position by the government. And um, for some reason, there's a tax on him. And it all goes back to World War II when this scientist was a member of um, something like the Long Range Desert Group out in the desert. And... Uh, various things happened and the uh, action goes uh, Europe, uh, Ireland and so on with Harry uh, tracking down what's behind all this and um, he does encounter he, kind of his opposite number from the KGB on the way. Um, Gavin Lyle was um, an Air Force uh, jet pilot and he, he then became a, a journalist and uh, he also it was a shooter, pistol shooter. So he puts a lot of expertise um, in, in his books um, and this is no uh, different. The, um, the workings of government, um, the, the bits about weapons and firearms, um, th there isn't a great deal of, uh, of that in this particular book, but what, what is is very convincing, very well done. And um, the general atmosphere and the character of Harry Maxim, whose wife was killed in a terrorist attack while he was serving in the Middle East, um, and he's got, he's got a young son, is, is very, very well done. Um, the, uh, there's a, his MI5 liaison counterpart, Agnes, um, is really askance at the idea that they've appointed a soldier to number number 10 but uh, as the series goes on she plays more of a part and kind of gets one one over so that was the first one um secret servant uh, and that was actually made into a tv uh, series starring charles dance as uh, harry maxim i only saw parts of a couple of the episodes i i, I was never at home when that was on um and uh, from what I saw, it was it was well done. Uh, I don't think it's available anymore, which is a pity. 
there was talk about the whole um, series of books being made for TV, but it, it never happened. But that that was the one um, kind of adaptation that, that came along. Second book was this one, The Conduct of Major Maxim. And in this one, he uh, has to sort out um, a plot involving um, a chap who served under him, a corporal in the regiment, who was doing um, some work on the side for SIS or MI6 in Germany and uh, gets into trouble, uh, um, has to go on the run, AWOL, and turns to um, the person he knows, which is Major Maxim, to sort it out um, because he, he was operating on the side of the good guys. And this plot goes into, um, um, again, going back in time a little bit, um, where there's um, a would-be defector in the East German uh, Secret Service and uh, uh, SIS are trying to woo him over. And so the action goes to Germany, um, to parts of London. And there's um, quite a funny episode where... Um, Harry uh, realises he's under surveillance by someone, he doesn't know who it is, manages to ambush this guy, the surveillance operator, and interrogates him. Turns out the guy is working for uh, MI6, and uh, this causes um, consternation in official circles, and a, um, a board of inquiry is, is um, formed to, to um, study... Or, or to determine the conduct of Major Maxim, which is the title of the book. Um, and uh, it goes from there. And uh, there's quite a, a good action finale to this one. Um, uh, aboard a, a ship in up in the northeast. So that was an, another really good uh, Major Maxim story. The third one, and there was four altogether, is this one, The Croker's List which in my opinion is, is the best one. And this goes from um, an attempt or a seeming attempt on the um, American president when he's on a visit to London. So uh, Harry is liaising with the Secret Service, um, which then takes him to the United States. He's, he's asked to go over there to do the ac after action review. And the whole thing goes back to the stay behind parties, kind of Operation uh, Gladio. Um, which the CIA set up all over Europe, which, which was true. Um, and part of the early part of the book, Harry's on a course covering those topics, the idea of re resistance movements and stay behind. And uh, there's an old war horse um, CIA uh, officer who has set all this up and um, he um, is supposed to have died. And anyway, the, the digging into it and uh, the network was called Crocus. And he uh, is working with Agnes from the MI5 on this. And um, they eventually, uh, eventually become a couple. Um, that's the romantic interest. And uh, as I say, it's, it's my favourite out, out of all the books. It's got a, a cracking plot, it's un unlike anything else. Um, seemingly very authentic and uh, quite gripping and uh, there's bits um, going into uh, East Germany and things like that in the book and stuff to do with um, computer simulations of um, um, anti-aircraft missiles. Okay and then the last book, Uncle Target, is uh, it starts off where Harry who is um, now um, happily um, um, involved with Agnes from MI5, um, is, is tasked by George to go to a siege in a London hotel where there's a Jordanian or two Jordanian um, officials who've been uh, captured and have been tortured. And um, uh, the Met Police can't resolve it and the SAS... Um, has helicopter problems, so Harry's put on the spot, gets an ad hoc team together from uh, the guys in London, um, 
Duke of York's and um, breaks the siege. And from what they find, um, the action then moves to Jordan where there's a military coup uh, taking place and Harry's job is to prevent a, a, a new model prototype British tank from falling into the hands of the, the, the military coup leaders. And there's a lot of info, we're, we're given really a, a whole lesson on uh, tank warfare in, in the book. And Gavin Lyle's some, somewhat of an expert on military history and military um, topics. And he makes it all very, very interesting. Um, kind of desert warfare slash tank warfare. Um, and it's a chase uh, as well. Um, really well done. Really off the beaten track type of book. Uh, and I enjoyed it. Four books uh, in total in the series. I wish there were more. Um, Harry Maxim was a fantastic character. And, um, you know, he, he sorely missed in, in a way. Um, as I say, Gavin Lyle did write several other books. They're all very, very good. A lot of them were to do with aviation. Uh, pilots flying in wilderness areas or for small airlines and so on. With his RAF background, he makes that very believable. His stuff on firearms is always um, spot on. And um, he, he's no longer with us, and, uh, you know, unfortunately. And he, he was one of the best uh, of the British scene. 